We're back, and it's Monday night, December 19th, and if you're watching the show tonight, you're watching a live presentation. We invite you to call in. Numbers are being shown up on the screen. And if you're watching the show any other night but Monday, you're watching a repeat presentation of the show. We invite you to call our common hotline, 494-9176. Our first guest tonight is a gentleman who has been with us before, Dr. Patrick Moore. Patrick, welcome back to, Thanks, to We Art. The People. We it's great to be here. We invited Patrick first because he was visiting Los Angeles from Indiana, but also because he's had some very interesting experiences in his travels into the Soviet Union, also as an accomplished musician. And uh, how do you have time for everything, Patrick? Well, I don't. I just uh, fit everything together and see what I can do. I'm, unfortunately, I don't have a chance to perform very much, but I've written a lot of new music that I'm very excited about. And uh, I just do everything I can. And you're an anesthesiologist right. and a psychiatrist right. and a member of the Physicians for Social Responsibility. Right. And uh, what, what is the Physicians Group uh, for Social Responsibility? The Physicians uh, for Social Responsibility is a, uh, actually it's a big national organization and it's part of an even bigger international Physicians for Social Responsibility is a international organization. And the concept or the idea behind the organization is to uh, encourage all the nations of the world to get along. And you in fact visited the Soviet Union uh, in August of uh, 86. Right. It was a, just a very unusual opportunity to go to the Soviet Union and to work in the operating rooms in actual surgery with the Soviet doctors to see how they confront similar problems to what we have over here and uh, to get to know them personally. What, what is medicine like, Patrick, in, in the Soviet Union compared to what we're used to here? It's very difficult to make a comparison because uh, in a few areas the Soviets may be ahead or equal to us, but overall what the common person in the Soviet Union receives as far as medical treatment is concerned, it's many years behind us technologically. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a big jump backwards. And, of course, a lot has happened uh, in the last month, really, uh, between the Soviet Union and the United States. The visit of, uh, of Gorbachev and, of course, then the, 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 the tragedy of the earthquake in Armenia. Yeah. Uh, and there's been this enormous outpouring of international and American aid and assistance and caring about the people in the Soviet Union. Right. This is the first time, at least uh, my understanding is, this is the first time that the Soviet Union has ever opened up and accepted help from any other countries. Now, when you went, Patrick, two years ago, uh, you were not automatically that popular back home for having made that visit. Well, it, it wasn't just making the, the visit, uh, but also making the recording made in the U.S. USSR. You know, the basic concept is that the United States and the Soviet Union could work together to bring out all kinds of new things. And when I, when I made the record, I think that may have been misunderstood by some people as being, uh, I don't know what, fringy or or even communistic, uh, which it is not at all. I think that the more anybody has exposure to the Soviet Union, it's the best thing to make people appreciate the United States more. And you actually recorded uh, this record in the Soviet Union, and uh, right. the last time you were here, you played uh, part of it, I know, on, on the show. Right. It's, you know, as far as we know, it's, it's still the first uh, protest song recorded in a Soviet professional studio by an American citizen. And in the song, I talk about the Afghanistan war coming to an end. And at the time I recorded the song, the, the Afghan war was going full scale. Yes. And I was very concerned that I would be put in jail. <laughs> and so, you know, it's, I still feel very good about the uh, record, and I'm hoping that it'll be picked up by more peace organizations. Now, when, how long, were you, how long did you actually stay in the Soviet Union? Uh, approximately three weeks. And did you get a feeling for what the perceptions of the Soviets were towards America and the American government? Uh, yes. You know, the people I talked to, which was quite a few different people, were pretty much very much pro-Western, 
pro-United States. There's, mm -hmm. there's no question uh, about it. Did they speak it. English or did you speak Russian? Um, no, I don't speak Russian, but a, a number of the people did speak English, and we also had translators when mm -hmm. we were talking with the, some of the doctors that didn't speak English. And so. some of the perceptions uh, in America are changing rather dramatically of, of the Russians in the Soviet Union. Yeah, I think that all of us are kind of, you know, waiting to see, you know, what, what can happen here. Thirteen doctors from the hospital that I work at are now in Armenia uh, helping with the earthquake, uh, you know, victims. And, you know, this is just a big turnaround. Yes. Well, we invite any of our viewers that would like to speak with uh, Patrick to give us a call. Numbers are being shown up on the screen. And, Ted, good evening. You're on We the People. Hello? Hi, Art. Hello? Hi, is this Teddy? Yes. Well, Merry Christmas to you, Teddy. Merry Christmas. How are you tonight? Teddy is one of our youngest viewers and is a uh, religious viewer of Monday night of We the People. Have you met Patrick Moore before? Have you seen him on the show before, Teddy? Hi, Patrick. Hi, Teddy. How old are you, Teddy? Five. 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 Would you like to visit the Soviet Union sometime? Yeah. Well, Patrick, uh, the that, next generation. That sounds good. Thanks for watching, Teddy. Good night. Good night. Uh, America and the Soviet Union, Patrick, what do you see as the future between the two countries? I think, uh, well, the future between our two countries and also the future with the whole world is going to be one of increased cooperation. I think it's basically the Soviet Union has to become more democratic, more like the United States, and they're definitely attempting to move in that direction. I think they're going to have to. I think the big thaw is here. And you would imagine that this would continue probably uh, uh, in the future, that we're moving in this direction and uh, and we'll continue to move in this direction. Yeah, the last time I was here, I, st I mentioned Carl Sagan's proposal to have the, you know, the Mars uh, mission, a joint U.S.-Soviet uh, adventure. And, and although that hasn't been decided, I understand things are still moving in that direction. And I think it's a great place to get together. Well, you know, someone once said that uh, the, nothing could do more for bringing the countries closer together than, than something like an invasion from Mars or some natural disaster such as the yeah. earthquake or tidal waves being caused by melting of the polar ice caps where we think of ourselves as as all on one planet and in the same boat right uh, you know we're just running into so many things in the world can can be solved by the big powers getting together and working together and you know now we're at a time right here before this christmas is the first time like how long has it been you know, the Iran-Iraq war is kind of wound down now, and apparently the Cubans may be getting out of Angola, and, and the Israelis and the PLO hopefully will enter into a meaningful dialogue. It's kind of like, you know, there's great expectations. Do you have expectations of, of going back again to the, to the Soviet Union? I certainly hope so. I've had some very, you know, positive uh, responses from them, and I'm looking. I would be in the Soviet Union right now if I wasn't here. I'm sure I would have gone to Armenia to help with the. Well, uh, many doctors from uh, uh, Armenian doctors and non-Armenian doctors from Southern California and from throughout the country have have jumped on the plane literally yeah. to go over there, and uh, I think it's uh, it's one of uh, one of the the touching realities of the, the humanity of all mankind, that, uh, that this crosses that bridge and, uh, and they're just people over there. And particularly with the susceptibility of Southern California to earthquakes, we know that uh, it's, it's God's will as to where these happen at any time. You know, it's, it's funny, the last, the last two times I've been here, we've had a little earthquake. And in the meantime, when I went back Are home... Are you bringing the earthquakes? When I, I don't know. I had an earthquake back in Kentucky when I, when I got back there after coming out here last time. I yeah. think the whole wor world's beginning to shake a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, you are going to be... Uh, sharing with us uh, uh, a, a song that, uh, that you wrote and is, is on this album? Right. It's a song about the city of Leningrad. And, 
you know how um, it's possible to fall in love with a city yes. like uh, a lot of people talk about Paris or Hong Kong or LA and uh, when I was in Leningrad I didn't really realize how much of an impression the city made on me until the night I was leaving I was taking a train midnight yes. train from Len really from Len Leningrad to Moscow and it just kind of all hit me at once the historical pageantry of the city it's you know the city of Leningrad goes way back before it's a, it's a beautiful city right and and there's kind of a, a tragedy that's entwined in the history of Leningrad because it was besieged by the uh, Nazis during World War II and so many people were killed and starved to death and uh, I'm kind of looking forward to having a chance to present that song to the West Coast community. We have one of, a, one of our viewers, Patrick, and Susan, good evening. You're on We The People. Good evening. Hi. I'd like to ask Mr. Moore a question. Sure. I'd like to know if he thinks that in Gorbachev's lifetime, if he feels that the United States and Russia will become better friends and more noticeable friends. I, I, yes, I certainly, I certainly hope so. I, I think that uh, the goodwill is already there. If you talk to the Russian people, um, you know, the goodwill is there on the Russian people's part. I believe the goodwill is there on the American people's part. And it's a matter of kind of getting our governments together, which has been very difficult for us to do because of, uh, you know, political reasons in the past. Susan, have you ever visited the Soviet Union? No, I haven't. Uh, there may be uh, opportunities, I think, increasingly for... Oh, yeah. For, uh, I'd is, like to someday. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. Thanks. The the Russian people have a, a lot of warmth to them, a lot of intelligence. I think there are more bookstalls per block in Moscow than almost any other city. And we'll have an opportunity to, uh, to hear Patrick Moore sing one of his songs when we come back. So stay with us for more of our show. We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> 